Hi everyone, welcome to Prep Vision. So first I will tell you who should watch this video. So this video is only for electrical and instrumentation aspirant. And uh, if you are someone from EC, then you can watch this video for the purpose of roadmap to prepare for BARC examination. Okay. So first I will be talking about electrical and instrumentation student because they have already given the gate examination. Now it might happen that you have matched up your examination. It might happen that whatever that you expected from the examination, that thing you are not getting. So what thing you need to do? So there are a lot of things that you can do. But one thing that you should not be doing that is regret. Okay. Do not regret whatever that has happened that have happened. Now don't go get into the fights that sir, this will be the cutoff, that will be the cutoff. Yesterday I gave the cutoff to be roughly around 30 marks. Now people are commenting now it will be around 25, 26. It was tougher than this one. It was easier than this one. What will happen by doing all these things? Nothing, no. Right. There will be a number of videos as well. I'm not saying that we will not bring those videos. We will also bring the video like what's, what was the paper analysis, what should be the expected cutoff. Everyone brings these kind of videos and we will also bring. But as a student, you should not be getting too much stressed about all these analysis because these are just a rough analysis looking at the question paper and looking at the past year scenarios. We did not give the exam. You gave the exam. So whatever that you have given, that you have given. You have done your best. Now it might happen that you have done a lot of minor mistakes. So you have done that. Now, where will you go and tell that, sir, I have done some minor mistake. Will you give me admission? I know the concept. I have done the minor mistake. Will you give me admission in IITs or will you get me into PSUs? No, this does not happen, right? So you have done it. You have done it. That's it. You need to forget it. Whatever that has happened that you need to forget. Now, moving ahead, there are a lot of opportunities as well. So let me just briefly tell you what all opportunities are there. So at priority one, I will keep you. I will keep BARC examination. Okay. Priority one should be BARC examination and why this is at the priority. So when you watch this notification video here, I have told about the BARC notification for scientific officer. So then you will understand why this is at the highest priority for me. So just I am telling you what all opportunities are coming your way after the gate examination as well, because gate examination is not only the end. If you have prepared enough, if you have prepared enough, if you have prepared well and you keep your motivation high and keep on preparing until the day I ask you to prepare, then certainly you will end up doing something really good. So get your motivation high and start preparing again. You can take a rest of one or two days then after that. But after that, again, get your motivation back and study the same way you are studying just before the gate examination. Okay. Or even more, you can study even more as well if your motivation permits you. Right. So first thing is BARC examination would be coming. Now there will be a lot of PSUs who will be conducting their own examination because this year through gate 2025, a lot of PSUs are opting out. Okay, so there will be a lot of PSUs who will be conducting their own examination and the level of their examination is certainly lesser than gate. Okay, so they will be uh, taking their own examination. So there also they will be asking the same syllabus only. So those are opportunities are there. Along with that, there will be some IITs also will be there or some colleges will be there like bits is also there like some private colleges which are pretty good and some IITs will be there who will be conducting their own examination for the selection procedure in MTech. For the selection in masters, they will take their own examination as well. I am talking about IITs and BITS. So they take their own examination as well. And next case, let's just say you are going in masters with your gate score only. If you are going in masters in IITs with your gate score only, so certainly there will be an interview no? for getting admission into IITs. There will be an interview. So if you don't remember your subjects well, if you don't study your subjects well, then you will be messing up the interview. So to perform well in the interview, you need to study the subject. So eventually you need to study whether you have matched up the examination or even if you have done well in the examination, eventually you need to study. So that's the thing. But why I have specifically written the name of BARC because you need to have a motivation. That's the thing like and BARC should be the biggest motivation of the students. Those who know about it, they already know. Those who don't know about it, those who don't know about it, they can see this notification video. Okay, why I am keeping BARC at the highest priority. So you need to have a motivation that uh, at least I am preparing for BRC. One opportunity is gone. Gate examination is gone. Next, I am uh, preparing for BRC. And not only BRC, this preparation will help you in a lot of places. Like I just told you, PSUs will be asking the same thing only in their written test examination. IITs or BITs, if they are conducting their own exam, they will be asking you the same thing only. So certainly it will help you a lot in the upcoming examination as well. So just again, I am saying keep your motivation high. Forget whatever that has happened. Forget about the marks of the rank. Forget about... Uh, uh, clear, clearing cutoff and all those things. Just now, if you have prepared enough for gate, just get this preparation going on. Gate is not the end of the journey. Gate is just the starting, right? So we will prepare for BARC examination. So if you already know about the notification, then you can skip this video. Otherwise, you can watch this video. 
okay so let's start so first uh, briefly i am going to tell you that uh, what what all are the procedure there to get you selected in barc so, so there are two kind of uh, procedure first one is through gate score second one is through their own examination and then both of the guys will be called for interview gate score guys will be also called for interview and uh, written test examination guys will also be called for interview now if you are someone going if you are someone who is going through gate okay gate is not the only way but if you are someone who is going through gate then he needs to score roughly around 830 gate score he needs okay 830 to 850 they never release their cut off barc never releases their cut off but talking to the students according to previous year scenarios we can say that around roughly around if you are having 800 or 800 plus gate score then only you get the interview call this is about the gate examination if you are going through gate but if you are someone who did not perform well in gate then again there is another opportunity and that opportunity is through barc written test so they conduct their written test and based on the score of the written test they ask candidate to come for the interview and after that there is a final selection okay so now in the written test there will be 100 questions you will be given 2 hours each question will be of 3 marks and uh, if you get it wrong then negative marks will be minus 1 again i am saying they do not release their cut off they never release uh, the cut off marks uh, but uh, the safe score is for ec and electrical the safe score is ec electrical and instrumentation the safe score is 180 plus or 185 plus i can say so if you are scoring roughly around 200 not exactly 200 roughly around 200 if you are scoring after 300 then you will be able to do well now you will say that sir in gate examination i am not even scoring 40 marks how you are expecting me to score 200 out of 300 so let me tell you guys the level is pretty easier and the next line is very very important a lot of gate and esc prelims pyqs are repeated the word is repeated so these pyqs are repeated as it is barc never releases their question paper as well like they will take a online examination but they will never release their question paper as well okay so a lot of pyqs are repeated there so even if you just solve the gate pyqs one mark pyq or in esc prelims one mark esc prelims pyq and in gate examination if you solve the pyqs only then only you will be doing very well in bars examination the level is pretty easy just the number of questions are high there are 100 questions and you are having 2 hours so roughly in 1 minute you need to solve one problem so it is very certain that they will be asking easy question only are you getting this point and you need to attempt roughly around 70 question with a good accuracy if you have attempted roughly around 70 questions you will be getting the interview call so if you have prepared enough for gate examination the only thing you need to do is that you just need to do the revision and solve the pyqs pyqs of gate examination ec electrical instrumentation all the common subjects you can prepare and along with that you can solve the esc prelims pyq as well what is the syllabus syllabus for electrical and EC, uh, electrical and instrumentation i have written so gate syllabus along with that there are edc and microprocessor as well so whether you need to prepare it or not that i will tell you when we talk about preparation strategy but as of now i am just telling you the syllabus gate syllabus edc is also there and microprocessor is also there again they do not re release their syllabus as well but talking about talking from the student we get to know that from these topics the questions are coming and when will be the written examination so the date is not fixed but in their notification it is written and every year as well it happens towards march or april so again you are having around 2 months or at least i would say you are having 50 60 days so if you are having 50 to 60 days you can utilize these 50 to 60 days in best possible way and you can just make a proper schedule that what all things you need to study and how you need to proceed and if you do well if you prepare enough then certainly you can do very well in the barc examination okay but it's up to you you need to study i can give you motivation i can tell the words i can tell you the preparation strategy i can tell you what all opportunities are there but the bottom line is at the end of the day this video will end in next 10 to 15 minutes but at the end of the day you yourself need to study you yourself need to get some motivation you yourself need to believe in yourself right so let's get started with preparation strategy so now you have given a, an all india exam you have given the exam of gate and you know what all are your weak topics you would have written some test series as well you would have studied you you would have revised you have given the examination as well now certainly you know what all are your weak topics i am not saying that based on the examination you judge yourself now let's just say you have appeared for electrical question paper now in electrical question paper there was only one question from digital electronics let's just say you got that question wrong so will you say that sir my digital electronics is weak no based on one examination you can never judge whether it is your favorite subject or you are weak in that subject no it's you yourself who knows that this is my weak subject if someone has studied enough then he would know that this is the subject where i am not confident enough so first mark that weak area and if possible write it down in the notebook because 
that is the thing that you need to prepare more so first mark your weak area now the thing is you need to revise your notes and work on your weak area so first thing is that you will be revising your notes now i will give you an example uh let's just say i am i am someone who is not confident in transient analysis from network theory topic okay i do the mistake in transient analysis from network theory subject so what i will do i will revise the complete notes now i can refer to some resources to study transient analysis again i will quickly go to youtube i will just type transient analysis for gate no matter from wherever you study i am not saying that you study from me only if you have already studied from me then you can refer to other resources right if you haven't studied from me then you can refer my videos as well so there will be some videos on youtube everyone has taken a lot of courses are there on network analysis so just go there and cover the transient part from there quickly cover the transient part i am not saying that you make the notes clean notes just quickly see it whatever that he has he is teaching because you have already studied it you are just there to take the subject on a better level so if you want to get the subject on a better level what you just need to do quickly watch the video if he is teaching something new then just revise then just understand it and if he is just teaching the older things which you already know then just revise it so if you just go through quickly go through all these videos then you will be comfortable with that subject in that manner you need to work on your weak areas so work on the weak areas then again do the pyqs that's it revise the notes do the pyq work on the weak areas then again do the pyqs in that manner you keep on proceeding so just keep on solving the pyqs of gate examination and esc prelims so that's why i am saying for barc examination your gate pyqs and esc prelims pyq becomes very very important because the questions will be straight forward okay very straight forward questions will be coming there so just you need to have good knowledge and your understanding should be good enough and along with that you just need to cover the syllabus as well in that manner you can do okay so third point is solve old uh, solve old gate and esc prelims faq and now in the end what did i say that uh, gate syllabus is there along with that edc and microprocessor are also there so i would recommend that you can drop edc completely because this is a comprehensive subject and from edc there are not much questions in gate in a barc examination from edc for electrical and instrumentation students there are not much questions so you can drop it but from microprocessor i have heard that they frame good amount of problems like microprocessor becomes as important as the gate syllabus from microprocessor there are decent number of questions but again this is something if you haven't studied it then you can drop it but in the end if you feel like that i have covered the gate syllabus i have done all the pyqs as well i have done the esc prelims pyq as well now what i can do so you can cover microprocessor if the time permits this is i am saying if time permits from any crash course or from anywhere quickly you can do the microprocessor if time permits so this should be your last priority in that manner if you prepare well if you keep your motivation high then not only brc there are other opportunities as well which you can do which you can get which will which will help you in getting into iits or in psu or something really good and let's just say in worst case the worst possible case the worst possible case is you do not get anything that is the worst possible case that sir i prepared for gate examination i prepared for these examination as well i just did everything that you told and in the end i am not getting anything so still this knowledge can be used for your upcoming examination as well no like gate examination will happen next year as well if you can afford a, if you can afford taking a drop okay if you can afford taking a drop and uh, you prepare all these things but still you do not get anything neither you are getting any brc neither nor psu nor any other government college neither you are nor you can go for masters this is the worst possible case if you have prepared enough then certainly you will be getting something but let's just say you give your you give your complete hard work still you are not getting anything then still this preparation will help you a lot no matter no matter wherever you go certainly this preparation is going to help you it might be helping you in the next gate examination or let's just say you end up in some college there also it can help you okay so just keep your motivation high and prepare for these exams specifically barc i have written because barc should be the next biggest motivation after the gate examination i guess this should be your second priority after gate your second priority should be barc examination now coming to the interview you would have already heard it that sir brc interview is pretty difficult so there will be a lot of negativity that that may tell you that you will be able to crack the written test but uh, it might happen that you will be not getting the uh, you will not be able to crack the interview so i will say one thing yes it is true that brc interview is on tougher side but first crack the written test no okay interview will take some time and leave the preparation of interview up to me i will bring something for you guys and uh, once you are done with the barc examination just let me know that sir i have cleared the written test 
believe me i can guarantee you this thing today that uh, i'm not sure that you will be getting selected for the interviews but when you go to the interview you will be confident enough that i can answer the questions of interview interviewer that much preparation i will bring okay on youtube itself so do not uh, think about interview as of now it should not be coming into your mind that sir interview is tougher what if i crack the written test examination because after that i will not be getting selected so don't even let this thing come to your mind don't even let any negativity come into your mind because one negative th thought and your preparation will be hampered so just keep on preparing for the interview live up to me i will take care of that just uh, clear the written test and let me know that you have cleared the written test rest all thing keep up to me just uh, the thing is you need to clear the written test and for that you only need to study you only need to solve the pyqs you only need to solve the pyqs of gate and ac examination you only need to work on your weak areas so that's the biggest motivation i am not going to tell any stories i am not going to tell any lines any motivating line because the thing is the motivation should be coming into your mind from you yourself right so you need to study that's the only conclusion of this video you should not be dropping studying you might be demotivated but again get the motivation high work on your weak area write down your weak areas once you get the confidence back you will again start studying and uh, believe me if you study well enough at least till april till the end of april if you are studying well enough then certainly within this year you will be getting something really good it could be a seat in iit it could be seat in masters in a very good college it could be a psu it could be any organization or any institute okay with that i would like to end the video and if you are having any other query you can write down in the comment section okay thank you very much